and welcome to my channel. My name is Jersey. Today I'm so excited to show you how to make moonshine horseradish mustard. At the blog, we'll have more detailed instructions. Let's jump right in. I just received this in the mail from Amazon. Unpeeled is 8.9 ounces. I'm going to peel this, wash it, and then I will come back. It's very simple to peel. Very dirty. If you could do this outside, it would be better. Don't throw this away. You can put that in the worm bin or the compost bin. I'm gonna peel these and then I'm gonna re-weigh them before I cut them and then we'll be back. And we are back. They are peeled and washed. Now I'm going to weigh how much we weigh. It started out at 8.9 ounces. We are down to 6.9 ounces for 195 grams. You could grate this. I'm going to chop it into a few pieces. These were all washed with our veggie wash and rinsed in warm water. I've heard that a lot of people soak their mustard seeds. I have never soaked them, so I can't tell you how that is going to be different from mine. I do not soak them, and I've never had hard pieces of mustard seed in my horseradish mustard. I use the OXO's measuring cups, and if you do, then you will not have to weigh them. I use them and weigh them. So if you didn't have a scale, if you use these, then it would be identical to my recipe. For this recipe, I use one cup of brown mustard seed and one cup of yellow mustard seed, organic. I'm gonna put them into the blender. At this point, we have not grated or shredded the horseradish. That will be done after the seeds are ground finely. Change of plans. I'm going to grind the mustard seeds in this mini wheat grinder, and then I'm gonna use the big grinder to shred the horseradish. Now that is perfect. That is just as well as if you would have soaked them. This is like fine cornmeal. This is perfect. And now I'm gonna pulse the horseradish. All at once, there's not a huge batch. Now they say hold your breath and don't breathe in. I don't know, I guess I'm a very big girl, it doesn't bother me. But if you have little children around or somebody that doesn't can't have a strong fumes, just keep it away from your face and you'll be fine. Now we're gonna start adding the other ingredients. This is two cups of pure grade moonshine, 100 proof. I'm going to add all the liquids, give it a mix, before we incorporate our powdered seeds. A half a cup of filtered water. A third cup apple cider vinegar. A third cup of white distilled vinegar. This is one tablespoon of pickling salt. I'm sure you could probably add whatever salt you wanted. This is one tablespoon of sugar in the raw. This is optional. But this whole recipe is mine. This is how I make it. You can adapt it to what you like. Now that all that liquid is in there, I'm gonna pulse it again to incorporate all the ingredients. Let it settle for a second. Now you may or may not have to add more liquid. If it looks really liquidy, do not panic. Over the next few hours and the next day or two, all that powdered mustard seeds are gonna really soak up the liquid. You may have to go back and add a half a cup of filtered water, half a cup of moonshine, half a cup of vinegar, whatever liquid you may desire at the time. If you do not have a power blender like I do on this little grain grinder, any blender would probably work. And then last time I made it, I used this Instant Pot mixer. I'm gonna have to stir it down, but right now I'm just gonna hit it for a second. I'm gonna stir it. All the dry mustard on the top can get incorporated. This is a very forgiving recipe. This is the normal size I usually make anyway. And you may think it looks very liquidy. Like I said, in a few days, it will definitely start soaking up all these seeds. I really don't need to grind it anymore. Now what I do with my horseradish mustard, I dehydrate it on a silicone sheet and I will dehydrate it. And then I turn around and I put it back in grain grinder and I powder it. By doing that, it will last years and years because I vacuum seal the ear out of it versus if I left this in the refrigerator, it wouldn't last that long, maybe a month or two. Ray and I would never use that much in our lifetime. Now, as you can see, look at all the liquid already dissipating. This is my fermenting jar. This is what I use for my kefir for my 
moonshine lemon cleaners and other things. It's a silicone lid and it lets the air come out naturally so you don't have to go and burp this every day. Not that it would actually explode like the kefir. As you can see, this yielded almost two perfect quarts. And after four or five days, I will be back. It is now five days later. It has been around 80 degrees on the mountain. So I only let the horseradish ferment two days. I didn't want to do any longer than that because it was so hot in the house. When you first open this, it may look solid and dry, but do not let that fool you. Once you open it up and stir it, all the liquid will come back. Now you can see how moist it is. You do not need to add any more liquid to this. The same thing when it's sitting in the refrigerator. You may have to give it a stir to bring all the liquid back, but it's perfect. And there you have it. I will label all the ingredients in this. I fermented for two days because of the heat. The other three days, it was in the bottom of the refrigerator with the silicone fermenting rings still on it. The two quarts of the same exact recipe I made last month because I was all out. I dehydrate almost all my horseradish mustard because I like it dry. I prefer dry powdered. For one, it lasts almost forever. And number two, when I add the fermented horseradish mustard to my deviled eggs, to my salad dressings, to my potato salad, it doesn't add more liquid to the end product, which is the way I prefer it. I can incorporate this into meatloaf and meatballs and it doesn't add more liquid. So two quarts of the same recipe that I made when it's dehydrated down is roughly a half a quart of dried powder. This is what the dried powder looks like. As you see, there are no huge seeds at all even though we did not pre-soak them. It smells delicious. And then I will seal the jar I only keep a little out in a smaller jar at a time, so this is always sealed. And thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you, and if you like more old-timey skills, please hit the subscribe button and over to the right, the all bell notification, and we'll see you again.